Space Shuttle Discovery, the venerable veteran of America's human spaceflight fleet, proudly resting atop Launch Pad 39A here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Her wings outstretched and ready to soar into space for the 39th and final time. And here we have the crew uh, walking out of crew quarters. This is a very historical walkway. It's the same path that uh, the Apollo astronauts took to go to the moon. And over the last 30 years, there's been 133-odd uh, shuttle crews that have walked out here to catch this bus for the exciting ride out to the launch pad. The crew will step out of the Astro van, and uh, you'll probably see them uh, step back and uh, look up, which is a little hard to do in the uh, uh, heavy suits that they have but uh, you get an opportunity to stand there and see the shuttle from a very unique perspective uh, uh, the view itself is spectacular but your perspective is particularly unique because you know that it is the ride that's going to take you uh, out into orbit there you can see the crew having a, a group hug and a, a little quiet moment for themselves to uh, uh, consolidate their thoughts wish each other well, and then it's back to work. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one, booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Space shuttle now rolling over onto its back for the 87 minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. through the area of maximum pressure, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery Houston, you are go at throttle up. Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom and Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowe and mission specialist Al Drew and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. Its altitude, 37 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 53 miles.